Okay. Just gonna make some coffee while we're talking here. Okay. So, have you talked to Gino in the last couple of days? No. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I was hoping to just have a brief talk with you before that. Basically, uh, uh, he hired me for a part-time job, as you're gonna, you're, you, yeah. Uh, to help him build some of the stuff for his grant program that he got from the university. I'm building a community hub. You want to say? Oh, someone wants to say. Hello. You go. Are you going to say? Oh, Hello. No, oh, there's the other munchkin. Munchkin one, munchkin two. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. All right, no, 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 I gotta have a meeting. So, oh, yeah. so basically, I gotta talk to your dad. What you doing there, Munchkin? <laughs> basically, uh, yeah. During that call, um, yeah, he offered me this job. It's like uh, you know, a few hours a week or whatever. Uh, it's gonna give me some extra income though, which is nice, uh, so I can pay for stuff around here better. But. Uh, in the process, he said, hey, you know, uh, I heard you're making this thing for Lysiel with Elijah, you know, can I check it out? I said, all right, sure. And I just showed him the one chat room page. Um, he, he seemed to, he kind of hinted that he was also kind of in, in the decision-making of, of, of that or, or of what Lysiel is planning somehow. I don't know if that's just him talking or if that's true, I don't know. I, I don't think so. Maybe we got I mean, really excited when he saw our chat room, um, like real excited, and he's, he just like immediately started talking about all the different things he could do with it, how it looks so really smart, blah blah blah, and and uh, basically, yeah, uh, yeah, you can see the meow meow, and uh, basically he said, uh, oh yeah, well, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna contact meow, Elijah meow, meow, right away meow, uh, meow, because meow, I think we can meow. use the same technology for for the program that he's doing with the university students where there's like a hundred and something of them and they're all in different classes and blah, blah, blah. My project with him is to build a community hub. Erica, holy crap. Hey, 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 go away. Go away, leave the meow meow alone. You just heard him. You just heard the meow meow. Do you look, the meow meow's disappeared now. No, no, go away, Alex. Both of you, get him away now. Go away now. Get him out. Sorry, the uh, Erica just dropped a cat on on a thing and hurt the cat pretty bad. Oh, so I'm like cowering in the corner now. Oh, poor little guy. Um, but anyway, yeah, the short story is uh, he he was saying he wants to use our technology for his thing as well. And he's saying maybe, you know, I can license it from Elijah and I'm gonna get on contact with him because I think same sort of idea, like slightly custom tailored to what he's doing is gonna be really helpful for him. Anyway, it sounds like maybe, you know, S SK, our, our shared knowledge community number two. So so what what's the distinction then between the community hub versus the, what we got kind of thing? Oh yeah, right. Sorry, I got cut off there. Uh, so the community hub that he wants me to work on, um, it's, I guess there's three portions to the $700,000 grant he's got, uh, 700 Hong Kong thousand, so 100,000 US. There's three different parts to it. Um, I have the whole document, but but the community hub part is the number two that I'm supposed to be building for him, basically. Um, and essentially it's gonna be a website that has holds information for all the students and everything as like a, a central point of information. It's not that, it's really not that interesting, but basically all the students are in different classes and they use like WeChat, Discord, um, like 10 different apps and they're all confused about which app is where and who's, where are the lectures and, you know, where's the information for my course and all this kind of stuff is like, it's all over the place because of all the courses and all the different apps and and websites they're using to do all this. So the community hub is just some sort of centralized point of information that is gonna have all the information that they all need. You know, they can log in as a student, see their course stuff and whoever, whatever else, depending on the student. And also some sort of place where they can say, you know, 
for these kind of discussions, go to this Discord channel here. For you know, for this kind of information, go to this website here. You know, we're having our course on this platform over here, and that sort of thing. So, I mean, it's not that it's not high tech or anything. It's just a place to put stuff. Why? But you know, that that's not where he wants to use our software. He wants to use our software in the overall scheme of what he's doing, um, which I have it on my phone. But uh, let me just make a copy here. Um, I know you, you've obviously, I know you've seen some of the stuff that he has. I think. Well, he sent me his paper, the paper that sent me his life work kind of thing. So I, I have a, an idea yes. of the larger macro projects that are sort of organizing everything. Yeah. Like the, uh, the healers and all that kind of stuff, right? Like the awakening yeah, cycle, uh, getting out of the awakening and then uh, stabilizing and then having the entrepreneurial kind of out, output. Yeah. Is that what you're talking about? Actually, no. I think uh, he hasn't really thought that far because obviously we can help with that. But he, what he was talking about is no, just his, uh, his master's program with the university and having all these hundred and something students in a few different programs in a bunch of different countries, creating platforms and software for them to all collaborate. So what, why... Um, why wouldn't they start with something like Mighty Networks first? Oh, you know about that, eh? Interesting. I know who started that one. Um, like in I terms of, that's the best I've seen for courses and stuff. Like it just seems like you should build something they don't have and Mighty Networks has a lot of probably what you need to, to put together. Sorry, I broke our carburetor like two times in a row. I put coffee grinds on it, so I got to put them outside now. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I mean, the Mighty Network thing, I mean, yeah, because it's a network of networks, right? Well, it's, 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 like it's more, consolidate your networks. if he's doing courses and curriculum and, and communication, that to me yeah. is, is, I mean, there's probably better ones out there that are higher end, but that one has a lot of, things i think like i think luciel should have gone with mighty networks rather than built it in uh, the one we saw oh yeah the imaginal collective order. yeah i think uh i mean yeah that's probably true he so yeah. he said that uh as one part of the master's program there's a three month um section or three months portion or whatever where all the students are supposed to like spend the three months trying to like figure out what they want to do with their whole career basically and that yeah. that would be where our software comes in as oh. a way for them to, to do that and you know what uh, in the end honestly i don't completely understand how he wants to implement it but i just you know i registered the fact that he's very interested he wants he was talking about licensing it from us he's talking about you know he wants to get a hold of you so we can figure out how to to do that to license it and how we can build something for him and anyway it sounds like Okay, sounds like a customer. A person, and, and we just got to do that the right way. And so, kind of so we got two things. We got that specifically, and then you working on something for him that's that that's an, can be integrated, but not necessarily, so to speak. Yeah, I think that's just going to be. Um, I mean, ultimately, if we do create a platform for him, then I'll have access to the same databases, and it'll be useful to connect them. But. I don't know where that's going to go. It's just essentially hired me for a contract, which is helpful for, for my life. So he, I mean, the thing is, I think I asked him, I mean, uh, um, maybe he's gone back and forth and now he's seen the software and he's what he wants to get in. I don't know. I don't know. What I, don't know. I guess I'll just have to talk to him. I mean, what, so in terms of licensing, then how do you think, what should we charge for something like that? Yeah, well, that's where it comes interesting. He also told me he has uh, about $100,000 American he must spend before May um, as part of that, that grant that he has for his master's program. He hired me under that money as well. So, Did he say um, he'd hire me? Like, or is this? That's why I'm not sure. I don't know. I mean, maybe. Um, I don't know. But I, I assume that he's, he's you know, interested in paying for, for what we're doing obviously we can only do so much pro bono stuff out there so i think that's where he was going with it i just don't i just wanted to get you caught up with what what that was about and 
you know, which, which lowers the amount of time that you, you have to zill. Well, yeah, it definitely reduces it again. Yeah. Um, I got to get a proposal for him by Monday, the 23rd, which, you know, coincides with our other thing. Uh, but don't worry, I'm going to get, I, I'm working exclusively on, on our stuff right now. After this call, I'm going to be jumping on, trying to finish as much as I can today, doing the same thing tomorrow. Uh, and, on, and on my Monday, so to get it rolled out by the end of my Monday, which is the end of your Sunday. So yeah, I'm on target still. It's just, okay. uh, yeah, again, my plate has become more full. But you know what? I like to eat a lot, so it's okay. Well, <laughs> I mean, what I see is it's uh, the universe kind of creating an, a next piece or part, because I think Gino is very connected in. And I think that um, whatever the community, like it depends on how far he wants to integrate. You know, because because yeah. to me, uh, you could, you know, if, if he, you know, he may, to me, you know, anyone should sort of uh, have, have me take a look at whatever they want, because I mean, from a design point of view, I think I'm pretty strong in terms of anything right now. And so to me, yeah. as, a, as a team, you know, it'd be better if, if we were a team working on it. Um, yeah, I think. And I think, yeah, what we were, what we're already doing is pretty attractive to, to anyone else. And um, I think, yeah, you know, right away saw the potential for what he's doing in, in our software, the idea that, so I just kind of showed him the chat room and I, and I told him, hey, you know, yes, this is kind of mission step one. You know, the idea is we have a set of different steps that guides people through a process of decision-making and planning and the different steps involve different mechanics that enable that to happen and i think yeah i think he, he really understood that right away and was like oh that's really smart it was kind of the vibe i got well i, I think, think it's really smart so yeah good. i mean to me anyone with intelligence is going to see this and like it, we just have to demonstrate it so i think you know once liciel yeah. demonstrates it oh there was a did you see my uh oh yeah so email? yeah that's the second thing I, I saw the email i read the email um hoping you can explain the email a little bit more uh, that's I'm not worried that's about effective three yet, but yeah. Can we like what's what's your time? Like, how about let's not maybe look at that till maybe Monday. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if this was you know well, dictating the, how I'm supposed to finish it. Well, well, I think okay. The, the, then there is a maybe a, a we need the ability to have more than one question. Like we have the objective, we, we need somehow to put the questions in in stage one well at every stage i mean is he's essentially sending us what he wants and he wants right. two questions and take a look at those questions and, and say like because maybe we don't have to any mechanics it's just basically in the objective and then here's question one and maybe maybe at a time thing the second question comes in or something or we have a a way of insert the next question kind of thing well see i don't really understand the email like i mean obviously their english is not working or something here um, no he's he's, he's actually cool. he's a good writer um well, I, the, the english is crazy looking i can't even read a half of it he says uh is it important for us to find the principles from other topics to take into account to and integrate with uh, within our topic framework or project question mark i know what That's, does that mean um, but no, I guess what, it doesn't no, matter what, if that's the question you want to I know what that means. Straight. That means looking at the other teams and looking at the principles of the other teams, uh, which of those principles do we need to take into account in our thing? The question is actually, is it important for us? Yeah. It's actually a yes or no question. So am I supposed to frame that as a yes or no question and, and give them two different options? Or is this an open-ended question that they're supposed to talk about in the discussion platform? I get, like it's trying to That's be a setup, I guess, for the second one. How do we organize to refine our list of principles accordingly and also highlight misalignments in between topics, principles? Like that's... Yeah, I feel like he's trying to squish our whole process from chat. I know, like, Wait. I mean, that... Like so, for, I mean, okay, I, I actually had a thought about this as well as like they want us to open end it for an entire week, each of the mission steps, instead of having us, you know, instead of make, putting a time limit on it and, and that sort of thing, which is fine. Because um, we had talked about at one point um, as, a, as an alternative way that the software could work um, for, for certain clients or certain reasons, uh, it could actually be 
kind of controlled by the facilitator so that they could set up all seven mission steps first and then hit go and everyone starts joining. And as they feel like they've already progressed past the, you know, the goal of the, the objective for the first mission, he can hit, you know, go to the second mission and then the mechanics change. Yeah. And they could actually progress through it all in one day if they want. Yeah. Or all in one sit down. Um, that would be maybe the that's what he's kind of envisioning too. Um, I don't know. I don't think that was a parameter he put in there, but I, I, I really like that. I mean, that seems to me like, uh, the basis of the game, like teams that can kind of go through the missions quick versus teams that take forever. Right. Yeah. Because then we can, but, but at the same time that, you know, telescopes our entire seven step process down to one week to roll out. Well, so that that yeah, I guess so. Definitely everything ready you're right you're start. right and and they're working on a week-to-week -week schedule where they're doing their their download each week to set it up right so yeah we, we are kind of going week to week yeah at this point that's better for us but i think ultimately it would be smart to have that option out there for our clients or whatever to be able to just you know sit down in a boardroom and meeting for for a company or an organization say all right we got to figure out what we're doing how to do it who's going to do what let's get this done it's monday come on bam 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 they spend four hours straight talking and, and they get through all seven mission steps and it produces some sort of step-by-step -step plan and, and, a, and a picture with who's who's what roles and whatever else it you know produces in the end which i think is ultimately what's what one of the big selling points of the software is going to be is that, a it's it kind of it, it adds mechanics and frameworks for the, each of the kind of stages of conversation so that it kind of, you know, uh, like a video game, right? Um, as opposed to a board game, a board game has a bunch of rules, right? But it's actually up to the players to enforce those rules. You know, the, if you're playing Monopoly, there's nothing to actually stop the banker from just taking money and put it in his pocket or anyone else. It's, it's people deciding that those we're going to honor these rules and I'm going to call out, hey, Mark, you can't just take money. But in a video game, um, the actual physics of the game, the programming itself prevents people from cheating just right. straight up. So what we're providing, I think, is something like that, where it's there's a bunch of agreed upon rules um, that we can explain in a document, but they're actually enforced so that, you know, you can't move to step two until step one's done. You know, you can't fill out that survey until you get to that right. part or whatever. And the other part, I think, is the big selling point is the material that our actual software can produce. So whether that is... Um, it ends up being a, a, a blog from the first step showing all the things that everyone said and also highlighting the ones that were most supported, for example, or, or near the end, it produces, you know, an actual like diagram of who's, who's in charge of what and a task list of all the stuff that they're going to roll out to, to start it off or the, or the, you know, what we're talking about once the, the actual overall, you know, checklist of, of we we succeeded and the, and the first steps kind of duality i just want to jump in here because i think that what you're talking about in terms of the outputs for what they come up with are going to be when part of the the, the integration point let's say with a community hub is those outputs going somewhere that are organized in the community hub within the structure of the school and within the structure of the students and within the structure of who participated right yeah, yeah, for like, because we're talking about 12 groups with the CL, and I mean, I'm part of that group that's, that's basically responsible oh. for combining everything anyway. Right, and what's, and, what's, and what's missing is that for the CL, right, in terms of whatever you, like, I just know you're creating the next step, and just Gino's pointing to it, because it's just the, you know, he's very involved in this whole thing, um, which is perfect, in a sense, because we need that for the CL, we need to have a place to put the outputs for Luciel. So whatever you're yeah. doing for him, we need to always be mimicking, you know, as we build because yeah, everything's an it's, it's, Yeah, it may not be directly connected together, but the but the philosophy and the actual, like, yeah, it could be just doing the work twice or copying and pasting half of it and modifying it for what we're doing. Or back exactly. Forth. I mean, yeah, that's so... How... So... Yeah. That said, like one of my next steps with this is I have to look at each one and come up with a convo type. And then the value and the, and the lens is kind of, I guess, more negotiable. But that, I think, is what yeah. they're, they're waiting for. And then... It looks Nick, like they're going to define the values, they said, basically. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah. 
So that's interesting. Yeah, I guess that's my only problem is um, we're trying to get this thing done by Monday, at least the first part of it or the first iteration or whatever, but I don't totally understand the parameters that they're requesting there. Well, the thing is, I think that, we, you know, if we had just what we get, we, we got to, right? Just the chat room as it is with the back end working well and just the chat room working as it is with just the goal. Essentially, you know, we'd have the facilitator, there should be some sort of briefing to the facilitator about like instructions. I mean, how do yeah, you like there should be each mission should have a, a, a mission instruction briefing video place. So a place to, to load a video. Ah, yeah, yeah. So that Olivier and Sophie could make one, you mean? Well, probably me making it, uh, maybe them making it, maybe both of it. You know, maybe I'm doing it more from our end and they're doing it more from their end kind of thing. Yeah, I think coming across a video by them would get better results, I think, with LaCiel because people are listening to everything they say and just doing it all. It doesn't matter where the facility, each facilitator or you guys are like, there's it, because there's more than one of you, it's confusing, I think, for people to take instructions from one and not the other. I don't know if that yep. makes sense. Anyway, okay. Yeah, I, um, be able to explain it anyway. So anyway, so within the, the back end, there'd have to be a place for a, a briefing convo for each mission, right? Is that asking too much? So are, are you, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm just need to understand. So do you mean on like the admin level for LCL itself, it needs to have some explanations of the missions or like each of the facilitators? Well, I guess it would, write be, it would be both, right? It would sort of depend on each facilitator could sort of add one and then the, the admin above could add one. Um, Cause there's the, cause there's there, the they would just objective. have to be like briefing convos for each mission. So the facilitator knows going in how it works and what they got to do. And they just repeat kind of what, what they've been taught. Because like the questions, if we have two questions, so that, let's say you start out, here's question one, boom. You give the parameters and saying like, this is, okay, what kind of question would that be to me? Um, find, objective, find the principles from other topics that we need also, we need also need to comply with and integrate within our framework. So to me, that might be investigation is an important, so that the objective is linked to an investigation, but then question one is, you're right, is it important for us to find the principles from other, I mean, it's a significance question is, is it important for us to find the principle from other topics to take into account to and integrate within our topic framework or project? So question one is, do we feel that this is important? And then the second one is how do we organize or refine our principles accordingly? There's a, there's a kind of missing piece because it, it's first is, is it important? And then what are the important ones? Right, because yeah. they're, go they're going to how do we organize and refine the list accordingly, but they haven't even identified the other ones that they would use. Yeah, plus I'm wondering, can you tell me why it's objective three? Uh, because the, the, the list of the their steps, their seven steps, which they had, um, they felt that it wouldn't start until objective three, the third one. Okay. And so, okay. And, and they, they're doing, I, I actually, when he showed, like I showed you the sequencing and I, you know, I, they're going from straight guidance, right? So it's, uh, yeah. it's, it's uh, I think me and you kind of logically go back and forth, right? With a bit of intuition. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely not, you know, using choose a remedy, for example, to make all of our decisions or something. Sounds like they're using a tarot deck or some kind of meditation to do it. Yeah, yeah. So it's whatever it's a process, it's fine. I mean, what it does is it it's like from a a challenge point of view, right? It's very different if me and you were coming up with these, right? Like as you know, for on the, in the planetary guardian side. So it's it's really good to see someone else's perspective in terms of we have to be open, I guess, to whatever the client wants, right? Like, yeah, that's the thing. I mean, um, yeah, ultimately, uh, for for these guys, ultimately, we need to produce whatever they want. And then we can go behind the scenes and create a more 
standard one that we think is smart and, 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 you know, offer that to new clients. And then, and then also say, Hey, you know, this is what, I don't know how we're going to do this, but for example, that, you know, here's, here's the, the platform that we built. It's great. It does this. Um, we charge this much a month or, or whatever, or it's a free blah, blah, blah. And then customization, you know, is an option you can do whatever you want kind of thing to modify it. That's this much. And, and I think, Hey, do you know what? I mean, that's what we're right? Do you know what I'm thinking? Is essentially what we need is a we need a product manager for every product. Because every product to me can be like a revenue stream, it can be whatever, right? But you need somebody who's really behind it making it go. That's what I'm saying. We need a we need a we need someone on board our team, like got you, me, we got Dylan. Um, we need someone on board who's just a business person, yeah. salesman. Um, I'm wondering what about Gino? I mean, yeah. he's he's on the outside, but I just I like I I think at some point he's he's going to get really excited about what we got. Um, yeah, uh, I mean maybe maybe idea, not, actually. but I'm just I'm just thinking that this this is a this is a beauty little thing that once once we show it, it happens. Maybe I'll be the product manager until it gets going because we got to figure it out. Yeah, yeah, and I mean I think before. I think whoever the business person is, the product manager, whoever, you know, salesman or whoever we end up bringing in to like kind of handle that side of stuff, we got to have uh, at least one thing in place before that is like a business plan, not, not, sorry, not a business plan, but a business model saying, you know, um, this is a cooperative or this is a corporation or this is whatever. Yeah. Um, this is the, the owner. Um, and if you join our group, you're going to get this because th that's what the business people are going to want. Yeah. Right? They're going to want to know, hey, if I'm your salesman, if I'm your product guy trying to pitch this to other people and sell it and, you know, understand the whole What's product the and be able to talk on the phone about it, what am I getting, right? That's what they're going to sure. right For sure. And, and that'll get Gino to it. If yeah. you can offer, you know, 10% or whatever it is. Yeah. And I think I'm close to that on many counts because I got to do that for everything. So uh, yeah. this is pushing me to do it. Yeah, because as we're building the new paradigm, we have to find a way to integrate it with the old paradigm so that we can, you know, move energy from one to the other, basically, which is represented in money, in, in time, in work, all those things. But in order to connect with that old paradigm, we have to provide their, their mechanics, you know. Oh, wait, I missed something. The, the, the missing part is actually the objective. <laughs> find the principles from the other topics that we need also that we need also need to comply with and integrate within our framework. Yeah, sorry, I, I missed that. So question well, one is- what I mean. Yeah, the question one is basically that, isn't it? Well, that's the objective. And I guess that sentence is pretty, they got a few words, they, they got, yeah, it needs to be re reworded. Find the principles from other topics that we need also need to comply, that we need to comply yeah. with and integrate within our framework. Yeah, that's yeah. I mean, I don't know if they just typed it once and, and just sent hit send, but they didn't. Their their English is weird in this whole email. Okay, then objective for objective four. Okay, okay, wait a second. So find find the principles from other topics that we also need to comply with an integrate. So that's me. Would that be an that's an investigation? Yeah. Right. You're invest you're investigating the other teams, and then you're choosing. No, you're investigating, and then. You're doing a critical analysis. No, then you're doing is it important? Because that's the second one is an assessment. And then the how do we organize to refine refine our list of prisons? How do we organize? What would that one be? Would that be like design specs? You're you're, you're no. taking your list of principles and you're bringing in outside ones. What's that? Well, but the really it's how do we organize is the question. It's more like a structure kind of thing, isn't it? Like what Logi kind of structure are they going to end up with? It's kind of the question, I think. Logistical? No. Um, how do we organize to refine our list of principles? So that's like at the principles level. So it's a, uh, that's almost theoretical. Isn't that, a, that's a theoretical conversation. No, it's practical in the end because they want to know how do we how do we organize. Well, I guess actually here's how to no, do but it. No, principles. How do, how do principles. Answer that question. What's that? If we can think of a couple, if we can think of a couple example answers to that question, I think the it becomes clear maybe. Well, it's like it's like 
like if you go if you go to the water like we have to look at the principles of the other teams right <clears throat> then we have to go through those and then we have to see which ones we want which ones do we want to incorporate and which ones are actually going to go against what we're trying to do i mean it's actually it's quite a quite a wise thing to do but I think it's going to be difficult. I mean, they're, they're going to have to go through the other 11 teams and their principles either before or during. Yeah. But I'm telling you, I'm in the group that's responsible for doing that and we don't yeah. know how to do it. We're just saying we're going to do it. And we keep writing documents to say, yeah, that's what we're going to do, but we have no idea how to do it. They're looking at, uh, they don't know, you know, we can't even make it a Google doc in, in one hour most of the time. You know, we can't finish our homework. So I don't know how we're going to do it. I think the only way to do it is to provide some sort of framework that constrains the ability to do anything like, like, like what we're doing with our platform, right? Give them, give them something they can go into and it, and it, and it forces well, them to follow. Wait a second. Wait, wait. No, the guy by me. Andrew. Yeah. He's writing with Andrew? Yeah. Well, is it through there? No. Holy crap. I heard a lot of that. I asked him to move out because I can't handle it anymore. Like, I just can't fucking handle it. Like, he's just burst out with these anger outbursts regularly. I know. Swearing and screaming. I know. I'm just, oh, I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. Holy shit, man. No, that's kind of crazy. Like a roommate or something? Yeah, our roommates below us. Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> My, my, my only, my, my conflict resolution convo is shout louder than them until they stop. <laughs> well, you're a pretty big dude, so I think that will work. <laughs> it, uh, but it's, you just, to me, you just gotta, you know, it doesn't matter what they're doing, just break them apart. My fucking adrenaline zipping. <laughs> No, that's that's the worst I've seen him. He does, what, you know. They're, they, they're just fighting with each other, the two roommates or something. Yeah, they just, yeah, they he's he's got a an anger issue. He and at some points he just starts to scream, and it's the whole, you know, the you can hear it from fucking ten blocks away, you know. Yeah. And there's kids. There's a house of kids behind, and it just it's not appropriate for the. For grown men to to get to that stage, to me, 
Yeah, no, I hear you. Like, that's in my past, that sort of stuff for sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Um, but it's interesting that, you know, it's, it's just that, you know, that whatever is annoying you, you know, whatever is annoying me, that's where my attention goes. <laughs> it's, it's like, if you're annoying me a lot, then I'm putting a lot of attention there to make it stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, fair. Looks like someone needs to do it. Well, I have, this is the first time of me actively saying like it's happened quite a bit and i've never said anything and this mm. this was far beyond what i've seen before so it could have it... oh now they're going at it again just For anyone who's watching, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes of Planetary Guardians and the work that we're doing. We also have lives and got to deal with outside society. What's that? I was just giving a note to people who are watching our video in the future that we oh. both have lives and we still got to deal with the outside world. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Forgot. Okay, so objective. Um to define our topics, project, or description of how or topic should be approached and implemented in the context of the city. To define our topics, project. So that was almost like our crescendo when we were trying to do it, right? Is it? Yeah. This is getting close uh, to the main goal kind of thing. To define our topics, project, or the description of how or topic should be approached and implemented of how. In the context of the city of the future, question one, how do we translate what we have done so far into a vision centered on our topic for the city of the future? Okay, this is, I think this is basically like that crescendo, right? That that we were yeah, at. Yeah, objective four, all of that makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, that That's that's easy. You just replace topic with group and I understand the, the whole thing there. Yeah, um, and then question two is what is the next step towards creating our vision? So though, those are, that's, that's a, I guess, you know what it is. It, it's like pushing the team to, this is what you got to get done in, in this time period. And that's it, right? Like it's different from Zoom, like in Zoom talk, it's so different from if you're chatting together, like in, in uh, just chatting, right? So you, see, I think yeah. at some point we're going to, the chat is going to be the main thing, what we're doing. And then the Zoom is the play-by-play. -play. The Zoom is the analysis of what's occurring as it happens. And I think teams have not learned how to do that yet. Like I... Oh uh, yeah, well imagine this, imagine this. Okay, um, <clears throat> for example, um, like I don't know the context exactly, but if all the teams got together at the same time and had a Zoom call at the same time, not all together, but each of the teams had a Zoom call that was occurring at the same time, and one person from each of the groups or everyone from the groups, I don't know, was participating in the chat. Uh, and so I think that would be smarter if one person is representing each of the groups in the chat and they're all trying to decide something going through this process, for example, over one hour. That would that yeah. would be the marketing team. That would be the research team. Yeah, yeah exactly. That would be... so, yeah, and everyone on the sidelines in each of the groups can be like, oh, no, hey, Mark, remember, we got to push this or, hey, you know, we're really focused on this, you know, make sure that they understand this part, blah, blah, blah. And they're all they're all talking in the Zoom and, and the one guy is typing and there's they're all seeing the actual discussion. Like, I think that's that would be, that would be I love that. That's a, a great focusing of the 144 to the 12 to straight on yeah. function. Because otherwise it is confusing uh, and it's a lot of pressure to put on each of those particular, well, everyone in the group because they're all representing their whole team for this and they have to really know everything about what they're doing to go off and, and, and you know, represent it over here. Whereas, hey, if we're all just in this together at the same time, but, you know, that's great. And yeah, like, yeah, that could be cool. I don't know. Okay, so so the, the question is, these are long sentences in the first place, right? Like we don't have a lot of room at the top there. 
maybe what I'll do is I'll shorten the I'll shorten the sentences. Well, I don't know. What? I mean, it, I, I'm more focused on what are they trying to produce here? So objective objective four in the end, I, I, that makes sense. Okay, they're, they if they if the team answers the two questions within the discussion, they're going to end up with answers that say what are the next steps to creating our vision. That could be a step by you know ten steps in a, in some sort of prioritized way that they could. That's what they could produce in the end, and we can make a little bit of a, some mechanics to make that easy. And then uh, question one of objective four: How do we translate what we have done so far um, into a vision centered on that, that? That could almost be they're producing a paragraph in the end. You know, they're they're kind of like co-creating this paragraph that's going to describe how their topic, their group is going to. Can we edit? Will we, will we be able to edit? Like if if, if somebody wrote down a paragraph, could everybody edit that? Uh, like on a Google Doc or something? Well, no, like within the chat. The time. Within the chat. Yeah, well, yeah, but like a Google Doc works, right? Where there's a paragraph there and everyone can kind of type in it and move stuff around at the same time. Yeah. I mean, we could do something like that. Uh, I've never we, tried to do that. But obviously, it's possible. Because isn't that the mechanics for the to coming up with that vision together? Be nice to have a thing right you have a statement you have a place where everyone can kind of jump in and edit together you know hmm. Like some of these things are better to do live. Some of them are better not to do live. Right. Like, like the the Google Doc thing, like example, right? Where that's what people do normally now in in real life is they, you know, they got to produce something together in a group and they they open a document. They all can type in there, but it's a mess. It's a crazy mess if everyone tries to do it on the fly at the same time with the same paragraph. Like that's right. You're ended up typing a word while someone else is deleting the top the first part of the sentence and it's like whoa what the hell are we doing i think the only way to do that is for a, a you know a live discussion in zoom or something and have one person type or or have you know yeah yeah that's a way. that's what we do with jesse's really good at that yeah and that's what we do in our group too like mary lynn or someone else in the in the is actually typing the doc we're all looking at the doc she's sharing it and we're all talking about how it should be said and then she types it or changes it or whatever while we're sitting there that's i think the only way that can work so maybe i mean that keeps coming up maybe we should really be suggesting that they participate in our platform and at the same time they're in a live zoom you know, all at the same time. And yeah, this is something you do while you're on here. And I think yeah. they would take, I think they would actually like that better than, hey, we're, we're not going to have a Zoom call. Instead, this hour over here, we're going to go into this website and we're going to talk with text. That's weird. If, if suddenly going from all these Zoom calls, yeah, it would be better to just do both at the same time. I think, I think, I think it just adds a whole new element to, uh, you know? Yeah, because ultimately down the road, we should be able to offer that product, not, hey, let's have a Zoom call while we're doing this. No, it's like this thing also supports video chat and you jump right. in and you can video chat at the same time as using the platform in the platform. I mean, essentially, the they could be doing it in Zoom in the chat, but I, I don't find that it's not allowed to have a the, the chat be as strong a conversation as the Zoom chat. Like it's it's not it's it's, it's not a norm. But I, I think no, that, and like, no, like an objective four, question number two, what are the steps towards creating our vision? Like there's two ways that can be that can be either Google Doc where again someone's typing it out, or or it could be some sort of mechanic that we make where they're deciding on it and then well, one person it, is moving from number one to number three, and oh actually this is more of a priority. And isn't that the, the support? What about the support button? The support button is just to support other people's um posts or thoughts while it's while the conversation is streaming so that and and really uh that's all it does so that by the end of the conversation the most supportive things are there and it can you can see it so that but wouldn't that really be do, isn't that a way of doing it uh the best thing you can use that for i think is brainstorming 
so, uh, you so know, no. Loud, no. Okay, so th this is what they're asking for essentially is that switch of, okay, like how do we translate what we've done into a vision, which is more, let's say, uh, a designing convo into a brainstorm where now you're brainstorming all the uh, next steps. So, and, and I think yeah, that's, I think that's, that's true in a sense of, uh, you know, I, I didn't just want that little, you know, combo type at top left. I want combo types being able to, that you can bring them into the chat and go, okay, we're switching now, new question, new combo type. So that's the mechanic that to have the ability of switching the combo type at the top as a facilitator and say, okay, new question, combo type. Well, that's what the missions are for, right? So they define the combo type permission so they can- No, go, no, but okay, now, now we're, we're talking within the mission. Ah, uh, so that they can switch the framework of the discussion while they're while they're in it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, ultimately that's pretty good. I that, like that. That's, that's one of the main aims, at least. That's what I see. Yeah. As soon as you can move from brainstorm, we brainstorm, we got 10 now critical analysis, let's go in and, and come in and do something yeah. different. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, that's good stuff. How about how about okay, since you're you're gonna be powering through the weekend on getting this done, um let's just keep an open channel in terms of uh whatever, right? I'll be available yeah, to you. No, definitely. Uh, yeah, I think we'll have to meet two more times before the twenty third here is what I'm hoping. Okay, <laughs> something like that. And like okay. so okay, just real quick though, objective three here. Am, am I going to have to in, in, uh, understand that, integrate it into what I'm doing before Monday, or is that something we can kind of work on later? And I just get what we already figured out done. By yeah, just yeah, just get what we figured out done. Okay. Um, cool. And then we'll we'll just figure on what how much deeper we got to go with this stuff. Okay. Yeah. How about we check in uh, check in. Maybe same time tomorrow to see how much you got done and uh, you show me what you okay. got done. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Hey, was it was my uh, was my message motivational? Was it funny or was it debilitating? The Facebook messages. The one I had where I put pressure at motivational, and I was basically saying, "You better get <laughs> it done, you son of a bitch, or I'm gonna." Yeah, I'm gonna... I mean, I don't know. I I kind of take what you say like that kind of stuff is in it with a grain of salt for sure because i know in the end you just want me to get the work done and we, we do better in video than anywhere so i don't really care what you say sometimes on the chat <laughs> or on the text it's like nah whatever elijah needs me to get this done he's, he's feeling the pressure i need to feel the pressure he's transferring some of that to me uh, I'll, I'll get it done and yeah it's kind of good. what I, my feeling about. good good now the thing that the, you know pressure um yeah, I do well with pressure, I guess. It doesn't bother me that much. I just have to get it done if I have to get it done. But motivationally, the things that motivate me the most, as far as our projects go, is these talks, it's these Zooms. Really? Because we always end up thinking of like new ideas and stuff to build on to what we're already doing beyond what I can even achieve this week. And that always inspires me like, oh, fuck, yeah, this, you know, what we're doing is, again, even better than, than what we had. And it just right. keeps getting better and better. And there's so many pieces and it's so smart. Yeah, that's the what motivates me the most is these these meetings where we just talk about what we have to do. You know, why haven't I done it yet? It's okay. <laughs> but but generally, like what else, you know, where's this going? That's that's always motivational for me. Okay. Well, that's good. I mean, it's good to know. I mean, I, I think it's important to because there's a lot to share and there's a lot to uh I guess just constantly figure out, right? Like, I mean, the, each of us have big things in our heads and we see lots of things and we both ultimately want to build the most amazing software program there is. But right now it's, yeah. uh, so, I mean, it interests me that Gina, you know, and just the story, like, just kind of like, it's going to be interesting how this gets built because there's going to be more and more people. Like we're going to, we're going to track more and more people and we are going to build the best software system on the planet. Like, Yeah, I mean, this is, yeah, it's been a vision of mine for a while. Pieces of what we talked about have always been a vision of mine, like a think tank, you know, my think tanks, like how the hell can, you know, 7 billion people on the planet help come together and actually make decisions. Like we're lacking that. That's why this freaking society is so broken and confused. 
the only way to, to that I can see that I can help is using my software skills to be able to make software that helps people figure stuff out together. And like, that's where I've been since 2008, just mm. until you came around with your stuff and we started talking about how to put it all together. I don't know what my next step was, but now I do for sure. That's creating this stuff that we're doing. So what I would, what I would think is look at what, what we've got here and then look at sort of like what outputs are we putting out? Like, can we output it as a blog? Can we output it to a website? Can we output it to a podcast? Can we output it to a video? Can we, you know, what are all the possible outputs? And then how could they go into the community by, by team, by individual, by like by the people that participate? So they have access to it. And then it's kind of like, here's the individual team and then community. How does a whole community access that? Like, I mean, to me, you know, if the big question is how do you share knowledge within a community? And then to, to me, what the thing Gino's got, he, I think he gets, you know, the convo types. And so the thing is, as we organize them, you know, here's all the brainstorms that we did for this project. Here's all the knowledge sharings, you know, when we can take a conversation and then organize it by that, that's really going to be how the organization really starts to learn. Cause yeah. the, cause it, like, for example, like I thought about this while we were talking, um, just a few minutes ago, like, yeah, if they get to that part where it's objective four and question number two, where they got to create like, or, or anywhere where they've got to create, say some, some, um, some goals or some steps as their group in LCL is going to do towards this overall goal. Well, that's cool. We can make a little, you know, a little list that they can, they can fill out and they can move the stuff around until they got number one, this number two, this, whatever. But what if, what if in our software platform, that all connects together with the other groups, right? So that the CL organization can say right away, oh, team one's, you know, this is their first step team. Oh, team seven, they're doing this. And, and like, that's a, that's a little tiny piece that's, that, that would be good, I think. And, you know, cause ultimately again, in the grand scheme of things, if we got 7 billion people in the world, say 1 billion people are gonna eventually participate in the new paradigm toolkit, the, new, the, the whole new system that we're building. Um, we can't have them all in one chat deciding stuff together. Ultimately on a species level that sort of happens already in lots of weird disconnected ways. But what we can provide is these, these breakdowns of stuff that, that, that you, where you can break down into groups of 12 out of 144 people and that every 144 people can, can be together in a bigger group and blah, 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 until you got a billion people or whatever. And having that be able to break it down and then also be able to connect it up. And the two things together, I think is, is the, what we can do. Yes. Sorry, I just had a strange. Sound like a sheep. <laughs> Okay. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah, we can talk forever. Let's let's yeah. stop it there, man. Okay, so uh, tomorrow night or through chats, uh, much luck on your work, and uh, I'm excited to to see what we got here. I, I think what was something? No, something else came in in terms of um, what you just said, right? Like bringing in the important information for that specific chat, like in the first one we're looking at the other 11 teams and their, and their uh, principles, right? So what happens if we have them? We should probably have those principles available for them to go through and see, and then maybe they could vote on which ones they wanna keep. That would, that would make it the simplest way. Like, like show all the principles from all the teams and then try to, like eat, allow each group to to ch check ones. off which ones they want to integrate within their own framework. Hmm. Yeah, I like that um, because on the one hand, they'll in the end their group will have a new checklist or a new list of of principles, but also as each group decides that they're going to integrate this one, this one, this one, number fourteen, number eleven. In the overall scheme, LCL will be able to see. Okay, well, seven groups want or have included this principle. All twelve groups have included this. Only two groups included this too. So then they can see where the focus is overall too. I think that's ultimately that kind of stuff is, is going to be huge to LCL and because they don't know how to do it, uh, integrate all the groups together for sure. Like they're just hoping that. I think they're, they're before we got in there with this stuff that we're pitching them now. 
I don't think they had any idea. I think all they were going to try to do is is get people to connect together on a personal level, then kind of like try to grow the group so the groups feel like they're a group, and then try to no, make no, some dude. sort of you know, mission that so that when they go to the symposium, people will be able to chat. I think that no, was their overall. But the, there is another piece of the puzzle which they did take into account of the SKC, the shared knowledge community, and the synergy wheel. I had they they had they are integrating making teams like the marketing team, the research team, the infrastructure yes. team. So, so that okay. was where the cross correlation between the, the information flow would occur. But again, that's adding such a huge piece of the puzzle that, you know, from, for full-time people, I think it's great. Part-time people, I think it's, it's, we're going to stretch it. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, uh, I, I told you, like, our group had a discussion about, you know, how many more hours are we willing to put in? And everyone in our group basically agreed that they were willing to put in an extra two to three hours a week, as long as it was actually going to accomplish something. Yeah. And I'm hoping the other groups are somewhere around that, too. But yeah, maybe, um, you know, that's something Lissiel needs to find out is, you know, how many hours a week is everyone willing to participate? And and then they then they know what, what they can play with. Right. They can say, OK, well, an hour for the discussions to continue. Let's put another hour into this platform. Let's put another hour to here. The synergy wheel, you know, representing the different groups can be one hour here. I don't know. I'm hoping they're thinking about that because, yeah. How many people are on your team are still there? On average, I think about five to six are showing up for a meeting, and it's usually the same five or six now. So but that's a str that's a strong five or six, kind of, right? Like it's actually it is a six, strong five or six. Six is nicer to talk. We've quietly lost about half our team, it seems. Yeah, but like it, we had six this morning in our call and then more came on, but it's much easier conversation than 12. 12 is, is just so true. many. Anyway. It's true, but when it comes to the synergy wheel and, and you know, assigning 10 roles to, to that we don't have 10 people right now in our group, really, that are going to show up. Right. So I'm not sure what we need to do there. Maybe in the end, we need to double assign more than one role per person if if the team, you know, can't get its people together, because I think that's probably going to be common amongst the teams is or start really recruiting. Fun. I hope we're not the worst. No, uh, we all, as far as I know, the, our facilitator had a had a discussion in the, their facilitator meeting, and Lissiel basically said, "No, nah, no one, no one else can enter the program." Okay. Because they would have to go through all the training, and they don't have time, and that sort of makes sense. So I think yeah. we're stuck with whoever we got. But I'm thinking most of the groups probably don't have 12 people showing up anymore. Maybe not even 10 people. So we're going to have to eventually figure out how to do that. And I think it's fine. If I'm, if I'm the marketing guy and the research guy on our team, whatever. I mean, that's just yeah. a little bit more work. It's not a big deal. But we may have multiple faces in, in, in the synergy wheel, like John here and here, and Mark yeah. here and here, and Susan yeah. here and here and here. I don't know. Yeah. And if you don't have, let's say, marketing and, you know, let's say two, two, three teams don't have marketing, but there's seven people on the marketing team, that marketing team can still be the marketing team for, you know, whatever you create. So, yeah, no, I think it's more important to have 12 marketing people always um, and 12 of all of them. It's just some of some people will have to have double roles. Uh -huh. I think that'd be better because then otherwise you're you know the seven marketing people in the whole team in the end are only going to represent seven out of the 12 groups and you know the whole this group or that group's philosophies are going to get lost in the big picture of the marketing or of the research or this 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 whatever i think it's better to have someone representing every single one of the groups like all all 10 are filled for all the groups even gotcha. if there's only five people showing up gotcha you know Okay, okay, my friend. Time to move on. Time to get to work. And oh, great. uh, I greatly appreciate our chats too. And yeah. and and this was a good. This was an important one. This is uh, we're getting close. Yeah, I agree. We're getting close. Getting close. So let's get to it, my friend. <laughs> no pressure, but you. All right. Okay, until next time. Uh, until tomorrow. Okay.